Welcome to the Iron Horse Model Railroad. We're glad to have you here because we're about to have a train race on the Iron Horse route. Give me 20 seconds to say hello and we'll get straight to the action. Let's get her. Welcome. Welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grand Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. Let's get it. Good afternoon, farmers. The DNRGW Television Network coming to you from Denver's Union Station wants to welcome you to the great train race number one coming to you from McKernan's Mill, everybody. That's right, everybody. The great train race episode number one is going to come to you from McKernan's Mill. So the DNRGW Television Network is going to turn you over to the SRV Network, our sister station up at the Gross Reservoir, Colorado, right now. Welcome to the Gross Reservoir, Colorado from the SRV Television Network up here, everybody at McKernan's Mill. We're glad to have you here with us for the great train race number one. What we got here, everybody, is we got the DNRGW Cotto F7 A and B units. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loaded coal cars up here, everybody. And we are eastbound pointed towards Denver. Over here, on we got the Milwaukee's Cato F7 and A B units and we've got a box car we've got three flat cars with logs loaded so we got one two three cars we're pointed westbound for winter park colorado what we're going to do everybody is we're going to get the train rolling around here it's going to be a race we're going to send them around and we're going to see who can get back to their starting position first everybody we've got the dnrgw units are a little bit older they're pulling seven cars we've got the milwaukee units which are a little bit newer they're pulling four a little bit heavier cars what do you think is going to happen everybody Everybody, what's your call? Place your bets right now, everybody. Who do you think is going to get back to their starting point first? We're going to get to it right now. It's time to film the fun. We're going to film a couple laps and see who can get back to their starting point first. All right, everybody, they're taking off. We got the Milwaukee heading westbound and the DNRGW heading eastbound. We're going to follow the DNRGW down around till it gets to Denver and then we'll come back up and check on the Milwaukee. And we got a little bit. DNRG W coming down to Denver with the coal. And the train exits the station and it's got to climb that helix now. We're going to come over here and catch up with Milwaukee who just came through the coal mine and is heading through the tunnel. Comes out of the west portal of the Moffat Tunnel into Winter Park. It pulls around past the ski lodge and then into Tabernash area so it can do a turnaround and now we are heading back east down towards Denver back through the Moffat Tunnel again, heading back down the downhill route to Denver. Through the coal mine. Hop out, and we are west bound, eastbound at McKernan's Mill now, coming back down towards Denver. This is the downhill part of the route, so it is easier. And there we go. We see your DNRGW train making its way up the helix, going into the rocky portal heading west. And now, as you can see, we got the Milwaukee with the logging cars. Coming into the helix, giving chase. And it's now we can get both trains in our sight, but this 
helix is long and it can fool you. I do think the Milwaukee train is out ahead though. I was thinking the DNR GW train would do a little better. But we'll see, we're not done yet. Milwaukee's gotta get up over the flat irons there. And we're gonna go ahead and follow the DNR GW train. Up past John. Watch it go into Roy's. And the DNR GW train is heading into the coal mine past Rollinsville. We're into Tolan, Colorado right now. Coming into the helix around Eltham's coal mine. I think he's probably wishing He had less weight. Let's check on. We need to check on the Milwaukee with the flat cars over here and see where they're at. Oh, this can happen. He's slipping a little on the helix. So that gives some hope to. DNR GW train here. I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on it. Here comes the DNR GW train now. Those logging cars must be heavy. He's coming around Tavern Ash and he's heading back down. We should not count out the DNRGW train. Let's see what we've got going on over here. I was not expecting that, everybody. It's moving, though. This could be tight, everybody. This could be a very tight race. You got here. And we'll give you a good angle. See if we can get them both. There you go. Uh-oh, here we go. And here we go, everybody, let's see. It's coming out. Whoa, it's gonna really be close. And it's the DNR GW train by a nose on the first lap. We are gonna have to let them roll again, everybody. We're actually going to do a second lap now. And the, actually the DNR GW train with the seven coal cars actually finish about a loco length ahead and so to remove any flukeness or fishiness we're gonna let them roll around one more time I can tell you that the Milwaukee train right here did much better all the way around the route until it got to the top of the flat irons where it stalled out for a minute and so we're going to go down there and check on the DNR GW train now and see how it's doing. We should be coming out right now. He struggles with the helix, but he seemed to get over the flat iron better. We are eastbound, heading back down to Denver now. That is the west portal of the Moffat Tunnel.
back down to Denver. Heading for the Heritage Heathen. Topped off with the flat iron. He is at the station and is coming back out and around. And is now westbound again. And his goal is to get to McKernan's Mill before that DNRGW co-train right there came and get the winter park in back to McCurtain's Mill. I sure think that it'll be an easy task. trouble with the helix coming up around the coal mine. If he can get up through there, he should be on free depending on I don't know where the Milwaukee is on that helix now. Just need to see if he gets up over this peak right here. We'll check on the Milwaukee. You just gotta get around there. That's the only other grade that should mess with him. And let's see where we're at. And we're at the flat iron again, stuck. It looks like we're moving though. Maybe a little better than last time. Sorry. And the DNRGW cold drag. still with the Milwaukee. Now I wonder what would happen if and when we switch where we put the coal cars on the Milwaukee and the logging cars and the box car on the DNRGW. We'll see. Here comes your DNRGW coal drag with seven fully loaded coal cars. Coming out of Towing Colorado through Rollinsville back to McKernan's at the Gross Reservoir. And if you said that the DNRGW train would outfold the Milwaukee train, then you would be correct. I want to thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this. Give me another scenario, please. Leave me a comment and give me another scenario where we can do another train race and film it like this and shoot it out to y'all because I enjoy doing this. 
This is Brian with the Iron Horse Model Railroad thanking you for watching today. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe, click the bell icon, share this with your other modeling friends, and I'm trying to increase my watch time, so if you would not mind, I have a Set It and Forget It playlist. The link should be in the description. If you'd watch that for me from time to time and help me increase my watch time, I sure would appreciate it. This is Brian with the Iron Horse Model Railroad. Thanking you for watching with me today. I'm gonna close out with our champion, title number one to the DNRGW Cotto F7 A and B unit with seven coal cars, the winner of today's train race. Thank y'all for watching. Let's get